Right, good day team. Welcome aboard. Welcome to our live stream. Back. That's us. Right, I'll just make sure we're all framed up. Um, might just need to adjust. Slightly. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be perfect there, I think. Nice. Yep, making sure all our audio and stuff's good to go. Sweet. Right, g'day team. Um, Gerard, hello, how are you? Um, I, oh yeah, you can see it in the background, nice. Um, I thought this week we can do some bit higher rating work, okay? Um, we haven't done, we haven't really gone up too high in rate for a while, so I thought it'd be a good chance. Um, throw it in there. Um, it's going to be quite high today. Um, we're spending a lot of time above sort of 30 strokes a minute. So the idea is that we want to push some of this rating stuff, but at the same time, we're not going to max ourselves out. Okay, we're going to try and do this as efficiently as possible. So we're going to keep working on our easy speed the free speed that we're trying to find with our rhythm, using our bodies, okay, really trying to find that ratio of work rest, okay, so that when we we are under the pump, you know, we're up into the mid 30 sort of rating, we're still trying to stay as efficient as possible, which will then allow us to manage that time, okay, so um, ideally, the reason around doing stuff like this, and I feel that working up to it is better, is because if we just go max out all like straight off. We never just give that body a chance to work through that aerobic zone as much as possible and find the crossover, okay, between anaerobic and aerobic. Um, and so this these type of workouts will allow it because we're not we're spiking it a little bit by starting at around that 28, but as long as we're staying relaxed and free on that, we shouldn't be producing a hell of a lot of lactate to start with. Whereas if you go and do pieces like this and they just max out from from piece one. Um, that's a lactate tolerance session, okay? So it's, it's something that we probably can't do a lot of here because for you guys, it's about you just finding your potential and all the ratings will be different, that type of thing. So, you know, it's just like doing max 500s or like all the 500s at, at sort of the same pace, um, you know, like 36, 38 for the whole period of them um, rather than what we're doing today where we're just going to slowly go through them, Okay. Um, so we can talk a little bit about it while we're warming up, um, but otherwise, uh, we need to do a pretty good warm up here. Okay, so let's jump on now. Um, we're gonna walk, we're gonna row away for sort of four or five minutes, getting getting warmed up, um, and then mm, I'll just finish my coffee. Um, and then we'll do some gradual building pieces, just getting the rating up. Um, you know, 24, 26, 28. A uh, couple of 30 second bursts at sort of 30, 32, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so need to need to be warmed up very well for this, for the session. Okay, just because uh, we want to be able to hit that first piece and be in a really good position. Okay, so jump on. Just slowly build out into it. Okay, so just want to spend the first couple of minutes just opening out the body, getting everything ready. Okay, it's pretty easy. Most of you guys have been awake for a few hours. <laughs> After day. So hopefully the body's pretty good space already. So the idea around what we're going to try and achieve today is really just an increase in our efficiency through each piece, just so we can become as comfortable as possible in the uncomfortableness of some of the higher stuff once we get that fatigue build up, okay?
So if we keep squeezing it out now, we'll start adding a little bit of pressure every sort of 30 seconds. Just feel how much we're giving the, the drive. We want to wake these muscles up. Start getting some blood flowing around the body. Just keep feeling any parts of the stroke to get the stretch. Nice hang under the arms. Okay, good. That stretch in the ankles, calves. As we roll in. Roll up into the front. So one thing about today as well, we can really work on the speed changes. Really work on this front end pickup. Okay, remembering not to feel too heavy. We don't need to be like Ugh! grabbing it off the catch. We want to be in and away really quickly. So we want to keep that flywheel spinning as much as possible and then just releasing this pressure allowing the hands to move back okay so we can really focus on this work rest ratio okay so keep pushing a little bit more okay just firm it up slightly should be starting to get pretty close to training pace. Okay, maybe a few splits off. Just over the next sort of 40 seconds. Let's keep pushing it down. Start to feel that press. Both feet, they really feel that good push, the hang, feel that drive, the creation, as we leave the arms out on, we just use these legs and body, feel the sequence, feel the hang, good. That's it, just push it on a little bit more. Good. Okay. So let's free it up. We're going to do 45 seconds at 24 rating. Okay. Building in. This one. Now, we so just move the hands, breathe into it. Do that push. Okay, nice. Okay, let's feel this acceleration. Feel the hand speed. Good. Yeah, nice push. Okay, last few strokes. Take it down. Okay, good. So we'll just ride out for this sort of 15, 20 seconds. We'll start to build it back up. So in 25 seconds, we're going to go again. I'm going to take this up to 26 rate. Okay, so just start to firm. Okay, firm in again. Okay, moving in. 26 rate, 45 seconds. 
Now. Look how long the stroke is. Move the hands. Good. Breathe into it. Feel that push. Good. Good motion. Make your mind. Feel that hand speed. One speed forward. That last five seconds. And then down. Okay, good. So always, we've just got to go through the process. We haven't done it for a while, so anybody new, when you're warming up for pieces like this, we've just got to keep pushing the body up and up and up and just gradually put the body under a bit more pressure till we're up around that sort of 30, 32 mark. Okay, and then from there, we can come back and be ready to go. Okay, so let's firm. Moving in, 28 right, this one. Now, so move the hands. Okay, so this is really the point where we should be holding relaxation. Rhythm. Move the hand. Moving around. Okay, there's our momentum. There's our rhythm. Feeling that speed forward. And down. Okay, good. So we'll just work into a series of 30 second pieces now. Okay. So we'll just roll this out a little bit longer. We're just gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and then 30 seconds on again. Okay. So let's start to firm. In about 10 seconds, go up to somewhere like 30, 32. Don't need to put a cap too much on it, just let it go, let it free it up. Here we go, build in. Now. Move the hands. Work. Rest. Okay, make sure it's not tense. Nice and flat. Couple more. Good. Okay, very good. So this last one, take it up somewhere around that 34. Okay, so 10 seconds. Let's start the firm. Breathe it in. Here we go, starting to build, moving in. Now, and away. Remember, just feel an acceleration, not too heavy. Hold the step along. And down. Okay, really good. So in a workout like this, because we're going to build up through it, that's about as much as we need to do. Okay, now, if this was going to be, say, everything at race pace, then you probably just do a couple more pieces like that. 
just to get the body alive, get it awake, okay? Because it just means that when you start the first piece, you're already should be warmed up, ready to go. Whereas we've gone a little bit above what we need to. That's why the, the ladder pieces are a little bit shorter. But we're going back to 28. So we should be really, really comfortable when we go back to this 28 and start the workout, okay? So, let's get ready, okay? I'll give you 30 odd seconds. If you need to have a stretch, okay? If you need to, need to get anything sorted. I'm already starting to sweat, which is good. So, let's, let's make a deal with each other today, okay? Let's try and get through this reasonably well while sort of pushing ourselves a little bit more than we hope, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to sit on this, we're going to get out, we're going to get onto 28 rhythm, okay? And then we're really going to focus on this work-rest ratio, Okay, so when we're driving and we're pushing, we're going to be hanging under the armpits, out of the shoulders. We're going to use the legs and the body to swing through and then everything coming this way. <sighs> Make a real conscious effort of being loose, loosen the shoulders, letting that chain take you forward. Okay, feel the clarity in your head and your face, breathe. Okay, and then get ready to pick up the front again. Okay, so we're going to focus on the front turnaround. The speed that we pick it up, we're going to feel our compression come in and, and then and then release. Okay, so we're going to feel this come in and away. Okay, we don't want to come in, get connected, and then push. We're going to find this, this sort of springing motion as we come into the front. Hands should take care of themselves around the back. We've got to keep them moving. The moment we start pulling, okay, and I'm thinking that we'll probably have to talk about that a little bit more up between the 32, 34, because we'll be using a bit more energy, which means we'll be using our arms probably a little bit more. We've got to just make sure that it's brushing the body, get it away. Okay. So first, probably four sets, we should be able to find the speed, tap it along. Okay. The third set, at 32, we'll be starting to work reasonably hard, okay? Keeping it going, tap it along. We get through that, we're all downhill. The, the ones at 34, okay, might be a little bit tough. And then basically the last two pieces, we're just going to let the rating go, okay? Not so much maxing out the speed. We can do that on the last one if you're feeling really good. Um, but ultimately, just making sure we're keeping everything moving because 36 is really hard to maintain. Okay, so we've got to keep everything moving. It's got to be quick. Don't worry too much. If you feel like you're only getting like here with length, just tap that along and then just have a self check. We'll talk about it. Think about the length. Okay, so if I talk about length, if I call length, check your length, um, whatever, just have a have a visualization of how you're coming in, where you're picking it up from. Um, and then just think, look, if I'm really short, if I'm only just like here, it feels like I'm real short then just got to speed the hands up, see if you can get a little bit more length, okay, because ultimately length is pretty key to what we're doing, but at the same time, you've got to cut the length off somewhere, because there's no way you can get out here at 36, okay, it's, it's bloody hard, so that's what we'll talk about through there too. So, let's go, okay, uh, select workout, new workout, intervals, time, okay, minute and a half, for that and a 60 second rest period. Yep, it's a little bit brutal because minute and a half makes, makes it a little bit longer. And this is why 90 seconds is starting to get out around that 500 meter range, okay? A little bit less for some. Um, but ultimately, yeah, when we start getting down into here, I back in my day, I'd love to have been, I'd probably be a lot lower than 130s there. But what I'm trying to say is that it's getting out further than just a minute, okay? It starts changing our physiology because a minute the body can handle, a minute and a half, we have to think about how we're doing it slightly different, okay? Everybody knows doing 500s compared to one minute is quite different in terms of how you pace it, how you feel it, and that's what's going to happen today, okay? So there we go, 130, one minute, let's press the checkbox, we're in, Okay.
So first one, we're just going to have to build it from a standstill. Just get it into that 28 rhythm, sit on it, okay, and just focus. Focus on our flow, focus on our rhythm together. All right, here we go. Sitting tall. Are you ready? Attention. Go. So let's find this groove. Okay, here we are, hand speed. Feel the hang. Long arm. Good. Okay, now breathe. Switch off. Okay, remember, loose on the recovery. Long arms with me. Around the front. Breathing. Good. One push, feel the press. Right, do the stroke. Do the body. Driven off the legs. Good. Good work. Okay, nice. Stay loose, stay relaxed, through the line. Okay, good. So, put first piece down. Remember, this recovery time, pretty crucial. Breathe it in, shake it out. We should get to the end of this and the body should be starting to get back a little bit of control. Okay, but that's gonna get less and less and less as we go through. Okay, so take note. Same reason why I always get us to do two pieces at every rate. Look at your splits, look at your distance, whatever you're using. Let's try and equal it or just a little bit better. Okay, here we go, build into it. Moving. Now. Okay, switch off around the back. Elbows past. Let the hands go. Good. That's it. Feel both feet. Got the rhythm. Nice. I feel this hand. Come with me. Nice and loose. Remember, trying to stay out of the tension. I need just enough to hold our form on the drive. Good. Nice push, keep it flat. Good hands. Back. Nice. Okay, five meters for me. Okay, so really good. So we're gonna increase this rating. Just remember, hand speed, slide speed. Just remember it's gonna be a little bit quicker coming forward. Really gotta get into this metronomic, free-flowing rhythm. 
Okay, hands have got to move around. We can still feel the chain helping draw us forward. Okay, really let that happen. Okay, start to firm a little bit. So we just free it up just a little bit to get up to this 30 rate, okay? Keep it free, easy speed. Here we go, building in. Now. Hands. Good. Allowing them to move away. Hang. Feel that push. Move them around. Feel the compression. Change the direction. Up, breathe. breathe. Long arms with me. Good. Rolling for. Good. Okay. Nice work. Okay, remember, trying to do this as efficiently as possible. Okay, yes, it's gonna wear us down. Yes, fatigue. Ultimately, trying to find a sustainable, continuous motion. Okay. Trying to become comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay. So, these, as we start getting closer, remember, five seconds to go, start building into it. So we hit the line at pace. 30, here we go. Now. Start with the hang. Roll around the catch. Feel the compression. Breathe. Driving the body. Legs. Sit back. Move the hands. Down the back. In the mouth. Breathe. Feel this tap. Good. Nice for them. Nice. Okay. Really good. So, there we go. Two done at 30. So we'll all be feeling 
a little bit of stress, a little bit of fatigue setting in, no pain, no gain, very cliche, but it is pretty darn right in my opinion. So 32 rate, spread up a little bit more, just tap it along. Okay, this is gonna be a real sweet spot. Find the rhythm, starting to build, moving in. Now, remember, hands away. The compression. Just feel natural length. Good. Remember, hands. Leg speed. Speed forward. Treat the length. Good. Okay, good. Maintain. Long arms. And breathe. All the way. Stay focused. Okay, good. Okay, it's all downhill. One more here at 32. What can you improve on from that? Okay. We've got a little bit more time now. Body's gonna be used to the 32. Move the hands a bit better. Feel the compression. We can feel the pickup. Remember, not heavy off the catch. Gotta feel that speed of turnaround. Long arms in the lats. Feel that compression coming into the feet. Okay, suck it in. Starting to build, free up the right, 32. Now, find the motion. Find the rhythm. And on the front. Mat. Okay, breathe. Sustainable rhythm. Of it. Flywheel. Nice. Okay, good. <laughs> so, we're coming into the third quarter of the piece. Okay, and any sort of piece, the third quarter is the ugliest of all of, of all the segments. 
fatigue's down, fatigue's up, sorry, efforts down, motivation slightly down. Okay, it's very difficult. Got to stay on top of it so that we can get to the end and then empty the tank. But right now, we've got to stay strong, hold the rhythm. Okay, 34, tap it along with me. Okay, starting to firm, here we go. Open these mouths, hang in the armpits. Here we go. Now, move the hands. Just get them out of the back. Feel the chain. Loose the tension in the arms. Press the length. Okay, breathe. Sit back. Push and hang. Open the mouth. Relax the face. Good. Crush the body. Hands away. Okay, good work. Okay, now, if you're struggling to get to 34, either keep at it, keep the freedom of the hands, or just drop your drag factor half a number, maybe even just a little bit. Okay, should allow you to Keep the hands moving. Probably not gonna see much more speed, if any, but it might just help get used to getting this freedom of hands, okay? Remember clarity, third quarter of the race. Big breaths with me, starting to firm. Here we go, we gotta hit the line, building in. Now. Right first, and we check rhythm. And push. Sit back. Pendulum motion. Suck it up. Hang. Push. Relax the face. Roll into the front. Round the catch. Along. Good. Hold. Okay, good. Take a moment, don't stop. Okay. So, gonna free it up. We're gonna try and hit 36. Okay, really 
Think about how metronomic, how fast you can move the hands, the leg speed. It's not about power. The acceleration is going to come at 36. Okay, here we go, 10 seconds. Building in. Spread up, second to last piece. Here we go, moving. Now. Natural length. Hands away. Focus lats. Good. Hold rhythm. Round the front. Open the mouth. Hands away. Twenty five seconds. Okay. Nice. Last piece. Suck it up. This is not about power. This is about speed of movement. Rhythm. Okay. This is it. This is the last piece into the finish. Okay, if we can, 36. Keep it there. Last 30 seconds. Go for it. Only with speed. Don't think about going for it with mass power. Free up the hands. Push the legs. Bring it up. Here we go, building. Go. Hand. Good. Breathe. Rhythm. That's enough. Hang. Push. Go. Hang. Three. Hang speed. And for the long. Yeah. Wind it up. 20 seconds. Get the hands away. 10 seconds. Ah, well done, team. Don't stop. Just roll back and forward.
Oh man, so good. Okay. Put a smile on the face. It's done. Okay. Heart session complete. Okay. Should make us happy. We pushed ourselves. We did what was set out. Okay, and we really managed to nut it out. Okay, press the menu. Just remember to save that. It'll save to your memory or your OOV data. Okay, just as a single file. Gives you a chance to go back over and have a look. See the differences between each piece. Seeing the increase, there's a small increase, no increase. Okay. Like, ultimately, I think between that 32, 34, might have got two meters. But then when I hit that 36, I got quite a bit more speed. Okay, so just little things like that to learn, figure out, understand. See, I haven't really been doing much. I do a little bit to sort of 30, 32, or else I go above. So I reckon the 34 is just a little bit lacking for my current fitness and what I'm doing in terms of my programming, stuff like that. Okay, but these sort of workouts, you throw them in, a, in the mix because that's how you get better. Okay, you can't get better at 34 rate. <laughs> at least we go to 34, okay, but really, really solid effort, okay, really nice, good intent, you know, good rhythm, trying to put the power down, keep everything moving, okay, when, just a little bit of, and then when I get to that 36, I am almost not thinking about hitting the body with my hands, I am just thinking, brush that around, and just literally as soon as I've drawn, just switch the arms off and really just feel that chain taking us forward. Okay. Now, if you don't feel like you've got a really quick chain going back, uh, it could be a chance to change the bungee. Okay. I've seen that before a couple of times, but this should really feel like it's going to zip back that way. If it feels a bit slack, especially up through this last part at the catch, Okay, definitely bungee time. Okay, but remember just, let's just start to roll it out for another minute. We should have felt pretty good. Okay, up to that 30. Uh, you know, let me know. And then ultimately once we got above that is really where that fatigue starts setting in. Okay, and the effort that we're putting in. And what I said at the start is that if we start off thinking too powerfully, trying to max out the numbers on that 2830, we're just going to be complete toast by the time we get up a bit higher. Whereas if we've been thinking a lot more of that relaxation, we should have got to 32 and went, okay, I don't feel too bad, but this is going to be interesting. Should have reached through that 32, got onto that 34 and been like, sweet. There's only four more sets. Let's just tick each one off as they go. Um, and everybody has their own mental way of, of combating piecework, okay, combating the repetitive stuff of intervals. Um, and so it really is just in your head how you get through that, okay, how you manage yourself. Because ultimately, even when we're doing a piece like this, it still has to be managed because – if you just max it out too soon, we're just going to completely fall to pieces in the last part. Now, we want to be really touch and go towards the end, but we don't want to be like complete falling to pieces and the speed just being like ridiculously slow in that last part. Now, as I say, the same thing about that rating. Um, it is difficult to get to. Uh, Got to be real quick, real free with the hands and not worry too much about the length, okay? Keep it in check and keep thinking about where you get to. But ultimately, it really, really is just about uh, you going, right, I've got to nail this. I've got to give it that intent. Um, and then just giving it a whirl, okay? So 
So I think we did really, really well today. Okay, choice. Great workout. So, uh, as we do, let's have a look. I'm going to see if there's anyone. Uh, <laughs> see see what we're up to. Uh, David, thank you, Eric. Third week of refocus. Sweet. Um, uh, tell my cardio improved. Now I need my muscular endurance to catch up. Any advice? Uh, David, just really the intent that you train at, to be fair. Um, uh, even potentially doing some a little bit of higher drag work, okay, that'll just build up that muscle endurance at the same time. But muscle endurance really just comes from, like we've spoken a lot about it on stream a few times around all of this heart rate work. I feel that if you want to get really good at your muscular endurance, you've got to push into that higher end U2 stuff, which is that 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. And that's where you need to do a lot of your training, okay? At least a couple of good long sessions a week at that area um, because that's the that's your that's your aerobic your endurance aerobic burning stuff you do that and then you'll find it just starts to become easier and easier and easier to hold your numbers or your numbers get better and better and better so that's really about the only advice is just the training intensity that you're starting to do you just have to start monitoring it a bit more with heart rate there's really no other option um, you know you can't really just go off feel or I think I'm doing it well. Okay, you do have to actually get into that heart rate monitoring stuff because that's where all the science has told us. Okay, and so it is a real scientific thing. Josh, Wahoo Damper is open. <laughs> yeah, open it up if you have to. Um, that's it. Uh, Ronnie, 30 plus rating equals very, yeah, almost immediately fell in the second half. Uh, what can I do to improve? Uh, much faster at 28 rating. Uh, it, it's just getting used to that speed. Okay, yeah, because what happens is because the body's moving so much quicker. Uh, if I was you, Ronnie, you just got to start. Like, if you can't get higher than sort of twenty-eight thirty, then that that's just it. Okay, it just could be you. Um, that that's it. Okay, but if you want to try and poke into some of that higher stuff, it's really doing. You could do some work where you're dropping the drag factor right down. Okay, and the flywheels just open, um, and you just got to keep the speed moving. Okay, it's all about leg speed, hand speed, and you've got to get the muscles just used to moving quick. Okay, it's like a sprinter. They go out and they just train really short, um, that real explosive powerness. Whereas rowing's not rowing. You do a little bit to a degree, and that's really uh, some of the sessions that you might have to try, which are just like you could do thirty seconds on, a minute off, um, and just try and keep the rating like quite quick as high as you can. Because what you'll need to do is do a whole lot of sessions around sort of thirty six plus just holding the rating up there for like 30 seconds at a time and having a minute off going back, doing it again. Because then when you come back to 32, you'll be like, oh, this is this is well easy. That 36 was pretty tough. Now 32 feels easy. So you've got to push beyond what you want to be able to come back, okay? It's like when you do 2K, okay? The secret with a lot of the 2K stuff is that you're not actually doing all your training at 2K pace. You've got to do quite a bit above it at like 105% of speed, because if you don't do that high-end stuff, then ultimately um, you'll never get comfortable because you're always not even reaching what your time is for your, for your training. 5K and stuff slightly different because you don't need to necessarily go a higher because it's sort of a different, it's a different, it's just a crossover and a little bit of an energy system. Um, so for you, I'd say, Ronnie, just do some high-rate stuff and get it up there. Uh, thanks, Mish, uh, Mish. Josh. Um, had to open the damper. Yep. Uh, and most Brits psycho um, beats like my friend Mark is. Uh, could be. Um, tough one. I've been watching the recordings for the last few months. Um, and this one, my first live session, uh, a bit was good. Can you explain what you mean when you say armpits and lats in the workout? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, thanks, James. Yeah, so <clears throat> the biggest thing with rowing, so anyone else that wants a refresher, James, um, when you go to lift weights off the floor, okay, and, you, and you're going to stand up with the weights, you're hanging through here, okay, you're not hanging in the arms, you're not hanging in the shoulders, you're hanging in the lats. Same if you're hanging on a chin-up bar, okay, you can hang on there because all the weight is transferred through here. So when we're on the rowing machine, it is all about hang that there, that position, Okay, so if you hang, because the moment we go like this or like this, 
we just take away from the fact that this weight can hang huge amount of power. Okay, so we're hanging underneath the armpits. So that's what I like you feel this. So instead of it feeling like that, it's all under here. It's all this hanging under here and it runs down into the lats. So the body is just hanging through that position there, ready to just swing back through. Okay, just hanging under the armpits. The moment you think like this, you've got a big shoulders, or we start lifting or like driving back like that. We're just losing the potential. Okay, and that's it's the it's the easiest way to explain it when you talk about hanging your body weight off off there or lifting quite heavy weights off the floor. Okay, you're hanging in these. These are what are holding on to that bar. Okay, but they'll hold on. The grip strength of your fingers is incredible. And it just runs all the way up through your body and into your lats as you stand up. Okay, and we're just doing that clean motion in the horizontal thing. So most of what I talk about when we're on these live streams and some of the videos is just if, all the words are like efficiency. So I'll like talk about tapping it around the front, which means you just want to keep the gear rolling. Um, you know, just rhythm, hand speed, freedom around the back. Just all of that sort of stuff because it's really just around us working with the machine as much as possible, making it as efficient for us so that we can manage ourselves through the time or through the distance that we're doing. Okay, so hopefully uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, Scott, great challenging workout. Uh, thanks very much. Yep, honestly, team, um, enjoy bringing it. Okay, we've, um, we've done some really good stuff, which is awesome. Um, as I say, today, I wanted to just throw that sort of stuff in there, a little bit higher. Um, and uh, and I think it was quite positive. Okay, so I, I'm not going to, like, generally, we're not going to do a lot of workouts, especially on this channel, um, which we get out of sync, because ultimately, I want you guys to be doing the same as what I'm doing, because I feel that's the way that we get that uh, sort of that coaching and that, that advice across. Now, if we had said, right, we're just going to do one minute max pieces, we're going to have old Ronnie that's only on 30, 32. Um, I'm going to be 43, 44. Some of you guys might be high 30s, mid 30s, but we're just all out of sync. Okay, but when we're doing this, we actually should be focusing. We're all about the same, trying to think about the same rhythms. It's a little bit longer than just the max stuff because um, ultimately the max stuff, really just leave it up to yourselves because um, even though you're trying to hold technique, a lot of times when you're doing max stuff, you can hold technique to a certain degree, but then it really just comes down to maxing the shit out of it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So that's why we did that today. Okay. So thanks, team. Um, have a good week. All the best. Remember, stay safe. Um, keep up all the social distancing, everything else, tracing, whatever needs to be done. Um, it's a new world. We're not out of the woods. We probably never will be. Um, so just make sure we do everything right. Um, yeah. And uh, keep up the training, okay? So thanks for me and the Ascense team. Um, stay safe, okay? Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, have a great week, and uh, we'll see you here next week at the earlier time, okay? Champion. See you later, team.